Every single time Butch is the one at the home screen, by the way, the first thing he does is go stare at that bulletin board. Is that the reason why he moved in front of it? So that he could just look at it every day? This man is glued. This man is obsessed with that bulletin board. He wants to know what the T is. I kind of respect that. <laughs> Oh, that's right, uh, Mayor Viss, someone new has moved into town today. I'm sure getting an official welcome from the mayor will be just the thing to help them settle in. Yes, I love that I played yesterday, and I completely forgot that I'm still wearing this blue Pikmin head, first of all, and also that Peanut has officially moved on to the island. That's exciting. Ooh, we have some mail. It's just campground. We don't need to worry about that. Um, yeah, I guess we could start off by saying hi to Peanut. She's right here. This house is like kind of Barbie core. I kind of respect that. I respect the color scheme. Ooh, but I wanted to show off first and foremost. Perfect fruit. They're finally fully grown in. Ooh, I only planted one tree. Right. I feel like I had more. I don't know why. Um, quick thing to share about the perfect fruit. Uh, they only harvest for a limited amount of time. I think it's only three or four. And then after that, the tree will literally die. And here she is. Oh, she's just standing in a corner, staring at us. Oh, okay. I thought she was like stuck or glitched or something. Hi. Hey, do you live in this town? I'm Peanut. I just moved here. I've heard things are pretty lively in Nook Tits these days, so I just had to be a part of it. I'm still unpacking, but I hope you'll come visit my place again when it's totally set, slacker. How dare you call me slacker of all people? Miss Peanut. Mm-hmm. How rude indeed. Um, okay. So, Peanut's here. That's cute. Anyways, when we last left off, we officially paid... Oh my gosh, there's so many weeds everywhere. Let's take care of the weeds first, okay? <laughs> yeah, when we last left off, uh, we paid off the bench. And in this game, similar to how it is in New Horizons... You're able to do a little special thing once you finish a public works project. <laughs> this is the most small town bullshit that could happen in this game. The fact that Isabel threw together an entire celebration ceremony for the fact that the town has a bench now. Like... <laughs> this is amazing. The fact that people actually turned out, we have four of the OG residents here to celebrate the fact that there's now a bench. Of course, Butch and Eric showed up since this is literally in their backyard. But thank you. Thank you. You are too kind for coming. Um, We have a speech. I will say on to the next project because, yeah, the grind don't stop. I'm here to work as always. And then, of course, like the cutest little feature, you know, if you play New Horizons, it's very much the same thing, but we're actually celebrating items. It's really funny, too, because bam, bam, <laughs> you know, you saw there was a do not enter sign available as a public works project. And there's also various street signs that you're able to put. They do ceremonies for those, too. You. Oh, hello. Why is he just staring at me? <laughs> OK, hi. Yeah, you're able to celebrate anything in this game. Hey, 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 Dr. V. It's the perfect weather for chilling outside. So, what's up? Aw, oh, man. I'm so hungry. I don't even have the energy to shake a tree. Would you pick an orange for me? Oh, please? Um, I guess that means the oranges have grown in. I didn't even realize that, but wow. The fact that this man is willing to just ask me for a foreign fruit, not even knowing if we actually have any in town, I didn't tell you. How would you know that? Place your bets down below right now. Is he going to have an actual conversation with us or is he just going to ask me to do something for him? Okay. Oh, hey, can I come hang out at your place today? Yeah. <laughs> it's Animal Crossing New Leaf. What did you expect? I'm just curious to know what kind of place you live in. Um, okay, I guess. Now that's the vis we all know and love. Interesting. Interesting, Butch. So when should we do it? After 1 p.m. Uh, that's like an hour from now. I mean, I guess I'll do it at 1, but I make no promises that I'll commit to this this time around. We already saw how it works out in this game, so... If y'all see me ignore this request, um, no you didn't. Jitters. 
Watch me do my dive for him. No, let's talk to him. Hello, hello. Today's a magnificent clear winter day, huh? When you go running on days like this and the cold wind hits your face. Wow, it feels great. Well, obviously it would feel good for you. You have feathers blocking your face. Try shaving your face and have bare skin out and then go running. Oh! Oh my god. Oh, he's fuming. He's pissed. I'm kind of scared to talk to him, but we have to. Hey, even I can be mad sometimes, you know. Hmm. Mm, he's pissed. He's pissed. He's fuming. Leave me alone. I'm in a bad mood right now. Okay, fine. We'll leave you alone. Um, yeah. This man. <laughs> Monique. Hello. Let's talk to you. Would you actually like to have a proper conversation with us today? I hate to ask you for a favor, but you, could you please run a delivery for me? You see, I found something that Butch lost. Would you mind returning it? Are you and Butch like not on speaking terms? Because he's literally coming this way. What? I mean, I can't. Oh, <laughs> he's literally in frame. Girl, Monique. Butch, of all people. I thought she was going to say Gladys or something. Deliver it before the end of the day today, okay? Why don't you come with me? Let's go deliver it to Butch together. Look at this, Monique. Why don't you turn around? Oh, no. She's going to walk away. Of course she's going to walk away. Um, Monique has something she would like to give to you. Miss Monique, would you like to watch something I left over at Monique's place? How the fuck did you leave wallpaper at Monique's place? What were you doing? Were you sampling wallpaper for her house? Are you like a property brother or something? I thought I lost it for good. Yeah, me when I forget my wallpaper at somebody's house. Also, not Eric just planting flowers in the middle of our conversation. Excuse me. Would you buy this from me for $17.24? Excuse me? That's overpriced in this economy. Hell no. I don't want it. <laughs> like... What do you mean? Were you trying to sell the wallpaper to her? What was your strategy there? That's a horrible sales technique. Oh, and Monique walked far, far away from the conversation because she knew that shit was embarrassing. That was the tea. Butch sells wallpaper on the side, coming for Sahara's gig. So he went over to Monique's house and tried to sell her some wallpaper, but she refused. And him, being the incompetent salesman that he is, he left one of the wallpaper there. Um... <laughs> He bought a replacement. That's his excuse. That's his excuse. So that, you know, <laughs> she didn't want to give it to her because then she knew that Bush was going to try to sell it to her. So she had me do it because she knew that I'm better at this than she is saying no to things. I love to say no to things, especially when it's a favor from a man. I'm kidding. <laughs> okay. Uh, ooh. This is fun. This is exciting. We'll do that later. I am going to just do like my dailies as always. Let's just hunt for fossils. Actually, you know what? Let's do this first. This might be more exciting. Wait. Ooh, this is Katrina's tent here. Um, just like Red, she'll show up sometimes in the plaza and she'll have your fortune read for you. Um, once again, very similar to how it is in New Horizons, only... You're not able to do like the whole relationship thing that she's able to do in New Horizons. Uh, she'll tell you her, your fortune for 500 bells. I think it's a thousand bells in New Horizons. So once again, the economy fucked up. Ki ha ha mo atata. Ki ha ha mo atata. E now. I didn't finish reading. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. I honestly think this setting is a lot better than the one in New Horizons. The fact that the camera actually rotates around and you're basically astral project to space, that's camp. While the plants sleep at midnights, one, two, counts the president of Nook's homes, bells, not plants. From this place, I can see the signs. Oh, yes, I can. I see good fortune upon wealth. Knit cap. This item will be the key to unlocking your good fortune. So what she means by that is, yeah, we have better chances of getting bells today. And I think, because Julian said this the other day, um, if you wear a knit cap, you have even better chances of getting bells. Ooh, we need to get an orange 
for Eric real quick. I forgot about that. Speaking of, where did I plant the oranges again? I don't even remember. I know I did them by retail because at the early stages of the game, I like to plant all my fruit near retail because I am just going to sell them. Which speaking of, I did plant all the tropical fruit that I found yesterday. I did that off camera because I forgot to do it on camera. Where are my oranges? Maybe I planted them near Town Hall because I got these ones from Isabel. That's an apple. Oh, they're right here. Oh, right. I planted them in front of my house. Okay, that's what it was. <laughs> I completely forgot about that. Huh. Is that fruit I see? Me, my friends, when they look at me for the first time. <laughs> bad joke. That was a bad joke. Have this orange king down the hatch. He's actually chowing down for once. Yum, sweet. That's exactly what I was craving. Oh, I should give you something, shouldn't I? Okay, please take my blue bookcase. Oh, wow. <laughs> Imagine that, giving somebody fruit and they give you an entire bookshelf in return. That's a true friend, Eric, I respect that. And I really respect that because that's the blue bookcase, which is a part of the blue furniture series. Um, for those who don't know, blue is one of my favorite. Blue is my favorite color, actually. So obviously from the older games, the blue furniture series, one of my favorites. I think if I had to say what my favorites were, um, what would they be? So the blue set for sure. The classic set as well. I really like um, the Robo series. I loved the Robo series growing up. It was such a cute series as well that I really liked the Regal bookcase. Ooh, okay, so I forgot it was like a, no, I'm gonna, yeah, I would rather have the ranch dresser out. The Regal series I really liked as well. There were so many good series in the older games. It's a shame they got rid of a bunch of them. This is like the eighth time <laughs> I've complained about the missing furniture series in this video. I need to shut up about that, sorry. I am gonna go. Should we talk to Julian and Gladys first? Julian isn't home. Is Gladys home? No. Okay, so I have no idea where either of them are. We'll talk to them later. There's no like benefit to talking to your villagers every day aside from like friendship points. You don't get like any specific reward or anything like you do in New Horizons because I know in New Horizons you get Nook Miles if you talk to them every day for a certain number of days. Something in the bulletin board. Ooh, Groundhog's Day. Oh, okay, right. So I was only gonna record five days. No, we have to show off Groundhog Day. Groundhog's Day is this thing that they actually celebrate in New Leaf. There's so many minor holidays that were that used to get like celebrated in New Leaf. Like Groundhog's Day is one of them. I think like Labor's Day, I think it's called Explorer's Day instead. That's another one. Earth Day, Earth Day was a really good one too. Um, oh, here's Julian. Hello, hello to you. Hey, good to see you here. Come here a lot, Vis. When I come here, I get to meet interesting people, Glitter. For example, people like you. Oh, once again, coming in with the compliments. Why, thank you. Thank you, Unicorn Power King. Yes. <laughs> Remember how I said you could get him trapped in the sale sides? You can also get him trapped on the floor items like these. Great, great thing. Um, anyways, I'm just here because I don't think I did the fortune cookie yesterday. Did I? Maybe I did. <laughs> yeah, I did do it yesterday. What am I saying? Um, all right, let's just do another one together though. I, do we think we're actually gonna get a dud? Cause I would like to show off what happens when you get a dud. Promise what it may, a leopard never changes its spots. That's 54, so that's another brand new one. Um, there were, f I don't want the boxing mat. No, <laughs> no, sir. We're going to have to leave. Okay. Yeah. Cause there used to be, I think there were 49 in the original game. And then when the welcome amiibo update happened, they added, I want to say 10 more or maybe nine or 10. Yeah, probably 10 more. So anything above number 50, that's a brand new one, including number 54, which is... A Dalmatian, ooh. Oh, leopard spots. The dogs, Dalmatians have spots. Oh my gosh, we got another Nintendo dogs. Okay. Oh my God, Gladys is here. Hello, let's talk to her through the wall. Um, Is this the first time? No, it's not. Everything looks so good on the mannequins, doesn't it? I never know what to buy. 
Yes, the things do look good on the mannequins. Um, I don't really think there's anything here for me, but we're gonna talk to Sable once. Ooh, ooh, oh, never mind. I thought I already unlocked it. Sorry about that. She always gets like that whenever she's focused on something. Yeah, so talking to Sable every day, as always, does benefit you, so definitely do that. Is there anything in here that's speaking to me? Let me take off my freaking wetsuit. I forgot what I was wearing. Let's see, we have some green pants and a t-shirt. I mean, I, I, the beret is kind of cute, but I don't know, maybe you could wear this. Wait, how would this look? Oh yes, okay, the Pikmin hat does stay on. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I think I'm gonna buy it, hell yeah. Oh, I meant to put, I, I'll keep it on. No, we have to change into that immediately. Like that looks amazing. Oh, this outfit is just getting better and better by the day, hell yeah. This is such a cute outfit, don't you think? The Met Gala is quaking. Oh, hello. <laughs> the tree standee, this, belongs to Jitters. What the fuck does Jitters' house look like? The fact that the oil, he has an oil barrel, a picnic table, and a tree standy? I guess his place probably just looks like a park. Um, I don't remember what many of the villagers' houses look like from New Leaf because it's been so long since I played, <laughs> to be fair. And also, like, despite, you know, me um, talking, like, there's actually a lot of villagers that I never had up until... New Horizons, 10,000 bells, whoa. Oh, I, right, I guess I could show that off. Um, Other fruit in this game. Wait, I wanna just remind myself real quick how much they sell for. Some oranges, 4,000 bells. So eight is 4,000. Do the math for that. The, what the hell? How, do, where's the other 6,000 bells coming from? Is it coming from this fossil? The Triceratale and the Sapphire. Is that worth 6,000? Oh, ooh. Yeah, selling fossils in this game is a great way to make money, just like in New Horizons, but oh, no, Eric was in here, damn it. <laughs> Wait, I need to show off what it's like when a villager buys one of your items. No, we need to get inside right now. Where the hell was he? He wasn't in there when I walked in. Did they? Oh, right, I think sometimes they can come in after you come in, so maybe that's it. Reese, shut up. Um, All right, Eric, I'm gonna just slightly nudge him over to my pitfall seed. Ooh. <laughs> and then he's gonna walk over and stare at it. And then if you talk to him, I can't believe I found a pitfall seed. This must be a sign, but it is a bit pricey. Hmm, should I go for it or hold off? You should totally go for it, babes. I hear you. Sometimes you just gotta treat yourself. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, not me and my scammer era. Oh, right. Since you're right here, I should just pay you directly. Okay. This is me scamming my villagers out of the bells. Hell yeah. The fact that you can just find these for free outside. You know what? The government in real life would be so proud of me scamming my villagers out of their money. That's exactly how, how it works. Yes. Oh my God, I'm gonna get shot for saying that I fear. Um, I got some meow coupons. Uh, oh. Right, you get a meow coupon for, oh, for the fortune cookies. Okay, I thought that was for Katrina for a second. I was like, hello? <laughs> you can get meow coupons for them. No, you can't. All right, we got some more meow coupons though. What was the other one for? I think it was for just selling items at retail. That's great. Hi, Mayor Viss. Is there something I can help you with? Let's actually do the ordinances. I was gonna do this the other day, but I completely forgot that they're worth 20,000 bells in this game, not 10K. I don't know why I thought it was that. But yes, uh, they work similar to how they do in New Horizons, but there's more added benefits to these ones. So there's the beautiful town one, early bird, night owl, and wealthy town. Wealthy town uh, works similar to the one in New Horizons. You get more bells for when you sell items, but items are also worth more at shops, so you have to spend more money. Basically, the, the economy just gets inflated. That's what happens. Night Owl, things close three hours later. Early Bird, things open three hours earlier. And villagers also wake up earlier and go to sleep later. And the beautiful town one. So, weeds stop spawning. You don't get trash in your rivers anymore. Flowers have a better chance of breeding for hybrids. And in New Leaf, they also don't 
wilt and die. We've seen how they looked, you know, when they die. Um, that's the one that I'm going to enact because that's always the one that I like to use because I love decorating, uh, especially with flowers because that's really the only way you can decorate a new leaf. So, yeah, I like to put this one in to law because it's cute, it's fun, and I'm just an aesthetic girly, what can I say? That's usually the one that I recommend, but I would also, I think I'd also recommend the night owl or the early bird again. It depends on your schedule, but like for a lot of people, especially if you like go to work or you're in school and you're not someone who likes to time travel, but you wanna play the game as soon as you come home, it's good. It's good, especially, ooh, the other thing with the Night Owl Town. Ooh, maybe I should have done that one instead. Cause with the Night Owl Town, you know, you can go to Tortimer's Island late and then come back and actually sell the things at retail. Cause retail is only open until 10. But if you enact the law, they close at one instead. So that's good. Like you're actually able to come late night and like farm giant stags and sell those. Shall we just talk to some villagers once again? Monique, did I talk to you? No. Um, she just like dragged me for a second there. So I'd really like to give you a flower table. Um, thanks for accepting my gift. Um, sure. You know what? I'll, I'll accept that. I love when villagers just give me random items. Once again, speaking of random items, hi Butch, okay, how's it going? Butch Queen, hey! <laughs> I forgot I made that as greeting. Oh shit. <laughs> I haven't met the newbie yet, but looks like someone new moved into town not too long ago. Being the shadow mayor? Not you trying to come for my gig. Excuse me, I'm the mayor of this joint, not you. Look at me in the face and take me seriously. Did I show off Jingle or did I? Forget to show him off. I don't have it written down. <laughs> we'll show him off anyways. Hi, Jingle Bells. How's it going? Hey there, kid. I hope you don't mind me camping here. I know it's a little strange to see me at this time of year. Anyway, this is a great town, isn't it? Really festive, really fun. Sorry, I just ate. So like, <laughs> you know, when your body does that shit after you have a meal. So excuse me for that. He plays KK Sonata and he looks like this when you honk the horn. Ooh, um, the items, I don't think he sells jingle items. No, he just sells um, these items instead. The only thing you're able to get is the Santa coat. Interesting, he doesn't actually sell his holiday exclusive items. What a bitch. Franklin does it and so does Jack. Why doesn't jingle give the jingle items? How rude. Um, also, I just want to show off. This is the Alpine Low Table. It normally comes in blue, uh, but you're able to get it fully customized if you buy it from Jingle. That's fine. That's actually one of the items that you're able to customize via Cyrus as well. And it's one of my favorite items in the game. One of my favorite sets in the game, I should say, the Alpine series, um, mainly because it's blue, but it's just cute. It's another cute little set that I'm kind of sad it's not in New Horizons. Hi, Jitter, I just realized he calmed down now ever since he, <laughs> I forgot he fell into the pitfall. Would you like me to do something for you? What? You want me for some new sports league too? Okay. Um. I'm totally booked up right now. Not this man like lying. Not this man lying to my face, lying for fucking attention because he, like he, I saw him fall into the pitfall. This is him trying to like <laughs> make himself seem cool again. Some buddies were telling me they saw a stranger at the station. Just a guess, but I bet we're getting a new neighbor. They're so fast with these houses these days. Makes you go, <laughs> they go up before you know it. Makes me nervous. Um, What buddies? What buddy, what buddies by the station? Oh, probably Eric and Butch. Oh, especially Butch. Yeah, Butch probably gets to see people as soon as they walk in. <laughs> That's another reason why he wanted to live right by the train station. Yeah, I guess I should show off as well. You're able to sit on the bench, you know, in case you were wondering. <laughs> yeah, certain public works projects, you're actually able to like interact with them. Ah, oh, shit, I forgot to hit record. <laughs> I've been sat here for like 30 minutes. That's so annoying. Oh my God. I just reset the day, by the way. I was literally, oh, and like some shit happened too. Um, so <laughs> this is going to be a little awkward. Hold on. Something interesting might happen because of this. So it's currently Friday, February 2nd. Shall we get started? 
Wonderful, let me get you set up. I don't actually know if it's gonna happen because I'm playing with an emulator, but uh, we'll find out right now. <gasps> Ooh, it will. Ooh, okay, so this is good. I guess I could actually show this off now. Hey, excuse me. Mind if I bend your ear for a bit? Won't take a second. Bam! Let's see. Uh, all right, I should introduce myself. Proper and such, the name's Rossetti. Most people would call me Mr. Rossetti on account of me being a respected member of the community and such. Looking for forward to working with ya. Of course, this'll probably be the last time you ever see me since there ain't no center or nothing. Oop, not the unemployment era. <laughs> yeah, so, um, my batteries ran out. That's the reason why. Aw oh, man, ain't that a kick in the mole skins. Tween you and me, them batteries don't last quite as long as they used to when I was a little mole. Do you think you could get to be more careful about charging up in a timely manner from here, from going on here? Appreciate it. What's that? You were expecting something a little different. Heh, <laughs> yeah, here's the thing. The Reset Surveillance Center, it don't exist no more. When they were drawing up the town budget for the fiscal year, Folks were all like, what's wrong with a little reset every now and then? We don't got the funds for this nonsense. Blah, 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 and so on and so forth. So you see, I ain't here on official business or nothing. I'm just volunteering this once. So next time you reset, I ain't gonna pop out. This is it, old Rossetti's out. Of course, if you were you if you were to use your marrow powers to restore the center, well, that'd be different. And if that should come to pass, I'd be back to the job in full force, unstoppable mole power. But listen to me running my trap like a fancy pirate or something. Good luck with all your future endeavors. Take care now, and uh, bye bye. Well, oop, that was awkward. <laughs> okay, um. How fitting that that happened, though, today on February 2nd, because it's Groundhog Day in New Leaf. And um, I already yapped my mouth about this, but I guess we're going to be doing that again. Here we are. Ooh. Okay, first things first right away. By the looks of it, the fossils are spawned in the same place. So there's something actually that we need to show off right now. I'm really hoping it's still in the same spot. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, I was recording. I was recording for quite a bit. There was a new villager in town. Um, and that villager is. <laughs> this is Nook Tits Core right here. Shari, our pee pee hand queen, which by the way, for people say, people who were mad at me for calling her that, that's literally her lore. That's literally the monkey she's based off. Um, yeah, Shari is officially our eighth resident of the thing. And while I'm here, you may notice it's Groundhog's Day and Town Hall is currently closed. Actually, you notice the lights are off. Um, in New Leaf, holidays were like actual holidays. You weren't able to play as your mayor on the thing. So if you're planning on doing like public works projects or something like that, you wouldn't be able to on holidays. Um, I am recording. Okay. There's weeds everywhere. Yeah, ignore that. The beautiful town ordinance is in act. Um, it's just, it won't actually start working until the next day. So I know for a fact that there's dead flowers everywhere. Let's just show off the fact that it's Groundhog's Day. And um, as you can see, Isabel is here on the plaza. Ooh, Miss Girl, hello. Ooh. I got a text. <laughs> well, oh, Mayor, today's the day we try to guess when spring will arrive. It's Groundhog Day. That's why I've prepared a special little something to really celebrate Groundhog Day. Yes. Um, yeah, so every holiday, minor or major, Isabel will be in the plaza. She'll have an item to give to you exclusively. And there's also a little face cutout standy right here. This image, by the way, absolutely beautiful. I'm obsessed. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Oh my God. This is so awkward because I already recorded all, like I already did all this. So like, I'm not going to be surprised right now because I know everything there is to know. Um, there's one more thing that I have to show off and I'm so, I'm going to just recreate the reaction right here. Um, yeah. So I think the t beautiful town ordinance is in effect, right? It should be, oh, right. Oh. I completely forgot about this. 
<laughs> okay, like that was so fucking funny. And the fact that I didn't record that, I'm so pissed. I'm so pissed. But yes, uh, February 2nd, it's Jitters' birthday. We didn't actually get to Jitters' birthday party yet. Well, we as in me, <laughs> I had only just gotten up until like this part. So I already knew that Shari was moving in. I actually got all my fossils assessed and I was about to start shopping for a birthday gift for Jitters. And then I realized I wasn't recording. Um, so that's a little annoying. Anyways, hi, Eric. How's it going? Um, oh, <laughs> he's doing this again. Are you kidding me? Eric, are you okay? Even the last time I talked to him, before I realized I wasn't recording, he said this exact same thing. Sir, this is like the third time this man was like, oh, it's not evening, it's morning. My bad. Like, girl, that's like, are you okay? Are you okay, Eric? I'm a little concerned for you, babes. Um... Oh, also, I completely ignored Peanut over here. But yes, Peanut is out and about. Let's actually talk to her for the first time. How's your morning, Vis? I hope it's great, Slacker. Oh, so what's going on? Have you noticed that Jitters is, like, super stylish? I'm always asking him for fashion tips. Jitters? Jitters, of all people? Really? We've bonded over our mutual adoration of fancy clothes, but I hope our friendship grows deeper. Not that fashion is shallow or anything, but I like to talk about serious stuff too, you know? Um, there's a little sneaky introduction to, like, the gossiping that's in New Leaf. I know I've said that, like, I do prefer the villagers in New Horizons low-key, but, like, that's one of the little things from New Leaf that I'll give. The little, like, gossip thing that they do. Again, I don't think they do it in New Leaf. Or in New Horizons, sorry. Um... Okay, I think I have all my fossils. No, I only have... There's one more. Um, Where is that final fossil? I think it was somewhere down here. Yes, right here. No, this is the pitfall. <laughs> yeah, I fell in the pitfall. I fell in the pitfall. I remember that. I actually remember that. I hate when this happens. Oh my god, especially in a game like Animal Crossing. At least... At least, like, nothing resets this time around. Like, everything is still very much the same. But, like, you know, just for, like, those raw, uncanny moments or whatever. Oh, it's right here. The initial reaction, like, me remembering Jitters' birthday, me falling in the pitfall. Those were things that, like, oh, I wish y'all saw them. But y'all never will. All right, now we're back to where we were before I realized I wasn't recording. Um, I'm gonna just get these fossils assessed and then we're gonna go shopping for a birthday gift for Jitters. I have my fossils assessed and I have enough bells, yes. So let's just do some shopping. I'm gonna assume that, oh, ooh. Oh, this is good. Okay, I can write this down. The first official shop unlock has happened on Main Street, I guess six days. I think it's related to Nookling Junction and how much bells you spend at Nook, um, at Nooks, basically. But, oh my God, was I not just talking about the Robo Dresser and now it's for sale here. That's adorable. Um, I'm mainly here because I just want to buy some wrapping paper. Yep, you could use this in this game too. Hooray. We're also going to buy a fortune cookie. Maybe we can get a good item from the fortune cookie to sell to Jitters. There was a fortune inside, let's see. He who wishes to grow big would be wise to eat his roughage. That makes me think I know what the item is. My guesses are telling me it's one of the mushrooms, specifically the mega mushroom, right? The prize for number 20, a super mushroom, okay. I'm still right, I just got the name wrong. Um, That's a fun item, ooh, love that. I am realizing right now though that I have a fossil in my thing. Um. Oh, <laughs> what if it's a giant, a dinosaur truck? What if I just, cause you know, fossils in like similar to how they are in New Horizons. If you give fossils to your villager, I'm pretty sure it boosts your friendship up in this game too. So, I mean like, yeah, I could actually go and like do some proper shopping or whatever, but. I mean, for like jitters of all people. <laughs> Not to drag the jitter stands for a sec, but like, you know, <laughs> um, excuse me, Eric. Oh my God, Butch, <gasps> he has a robo player. Oh, maybe I should have gotten the robo dresser instead. Hey, this, thanks for coming. Take a look at this place. It just screams birthday, doesn't it? Oh my God, this is how birthday parties work in New Leaf. This was like the first game to properly decorate the villagers' houses. 
for their birthdays. Oh my God. Wait, of course Butch is the one to throw the party. These two have been all up in each other's businesses since I moved into the island. It's like, it's like pretty much confirmed at this point that they have a little something, something going on. Look at this man all up behind him. He will not let go of him the entire time. Wow. Sorry for interrupting. Clearly y'all were trying to have a moment right now. Oh my gosh, I'll be in and out quick. Oh, so you're here to celebrate with us as well. Like, look, he looks pissed. He's like, why the fuck did you come in now? Sir, couldn't you come later? Mm, like something was about to happen, clearly. Sorry, Butch, I'll get out of your hairs in a bit. I'm just here right now because I would like to give a gift to Jitters. Uh, I kind of forgot. I, like I said, no matter what I feel towards a villager, I would never, never do that. Never in a million years. Sweet, I'm gonna open it. It's a fossil. What? Oh, wow, you got me a dinosaur track. This present is beyond anything I could have wished for. Seriously, thank you. I'm so happy, this. You're welcome, Jitters. I'm so happy sports drink is falling from my eyes. Okay, um, Jitters, you really just have a way with words, don't you? Yes, you do. You, you're heading out? Glad you made it, bro, and thanks for the present. Okay. See, no matter what in this town and no matter what I'm feeling about Jitters, he will always like me because I really am a real one, aren't I? Um, but yeah, because it's a holiday in the game, there's not really like much else that's like super duper important that you're able to do right now. I'm like trying to figure out because like we can't do like any public works projects or stuff like that. Like, you know, the reset center is available, but you won't be able to see that until tomorrow because it's Groundhog's Day. How fitting. Um, Shari's moving in tomorrow. That's exciting. I guess we could go see real quick who the campsite or the villager is at the campgrounds. Ooh, is that who I think it is? Oh yeah, that is. Okay, okay. <gasps> A scooter. I don't remember what his RV looks like though on the inside. It, I think it's beachy, but we'll see it in three, two, one. Yeah, it is beachy with the volleyball net. It's Gulliver. Some say he's the worst swimmer to ever be called a sailor. Drag him. Drag him. I love even the game. Even the game's willing to drag him, and I respect that dearly. Gah! Er, you live here, don't you? Uh, thanks for the hospitality. You're welcome. Yep, so the furniture that he has available, the Tropical Vista and Sandy Beach flooring, a ball, a beach table with a vacation juice on it. Ooh, a life ring, a volleyball net, a wave breaker, and that's it. Again, another villager that doesn't offer their exclusive items through this thing, because he has exclusive items in this game. I believe they're the same ones. No, they're not the same ones. I don't remember. What are his exclusive items in New Horizons? I don't, I don't fuck with Gulliver. <laughs> in this game, he gives you like special world related items like the monuments and stuff like you can get like the leaning tower of pisa or the eiffel tower and stuff like that i don't remember what they are in new horizons is it the same items or is it different julian hello how's it going hey this here you are in my house i'm really flattered to have you here why thank you kind sir Recently, I feel like the town has gotten a lot cleaner. Girl, it's the the ordinance went into an act today. Pulling the weeds up, picking up the trash, watering the flowers regularly. It seems everyone is really into the idea of making the town a better place. I bet this is all happening thanks to the Keep Nook Tits Beautiful ordinance you created, Vis. That went into effect today. It's not actually gonna show results until tomorrow. Not this man trying to gas me up. Gassing me up. Like Julian, it's official. He has a crush on me or something. Like this man is complimenting me. Complimenting me the house down. <laughs> he just loves, loves to gas me up. And I don't know why he's doing that. I think he's doing that so that he can get away with like, you know, he's that type of resident. He's on the government's good side so that he can do like, some freaky shit in his land or whatever. I don't know. Like get permits for everything, stuff like that. Let's talk to Monique. There's a rumor going around that you're a freshman mayor. I know. Monique, you are easily one of my favorite villagers on the island at the moment until Shari moves in tomorrow. Oh, not you trying to pin me up against the, oh. Oh my God, Monique, I didn't know you were like that. Damn, pinning me up against the wall like this. Oh. Oh my God, and she's gonna go turn the music on. She's turning the music on. Ooh, these villagers, these villagers. 
Can you actually say something exciting for once? How do I look today? Girl, we already, you're wearing the same damn shirt every single day. What do you mean, how do I look today? I'm snooping through your things. Hmm, the way things are stored here doesn't disappoint. So true. Can you say something else? Can you actually say something else for once now? Oh. Oh, not the trauma dumping, hello? Do you ever get sad when an old memory resurfaces? It's funny, even a good memory can make you cry. Now she's trauma dumping? Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> of course, we try to forget some of our most painful memories, but there's always another one lurking. Her. It's good to live in the moment and not worry too much about the past. Monique coming in with the words of wisdom. I respect that. Okay, Monique, okay. Let's have an actual conversation now. Hey, Vis, have you met Peanut yet? She's new in town. It can be nerve wracking trying to meet new people when you've arrived in the new place. We should probably help her out and go introduce ourselves. Ooh, so you're interested in Peanut. Good to know. Hope you don't have an allergy or something. Is there anything? I, <laughs> I do like this item right here, the HMD. Um, <laughs> what do you guys think? Oh my God. Ew, I forgot how big it, you, mm. you know what, you know what, I think I'd like to keep it on, please, yeah, yeah, I thought this outfit couldn't get any more iconic, but here we are, here we are, it can't get any better than this, this is exciting, this is amazing, I am obsessed, I am obsessed with this, if Gracie Grace was here, she would love it, yes, she would. 100%. You know what? To celebrate this awesome moment, I mean, I think it's only fitting that we commemorate this amazing outfit that we have on and finally take a photo for our TPC. Um, you need this for online play, but the online is shutting down in three months, so we'll see. Three, two, one, bam. Yes, this is amazing. I love this. Hi, Peanut. Let's talk once again. You think I've got water in my can here, Vis? No way, it's fruit punch. And don't even ask me what it's for. Don't worry, I won't even bother. Um, can I display this Dalmatian ornament right here? Yep, 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 <laughs> yep. I love that. Should I put the super mushroom out too? Ooh, it's the normal mushroom, not the mega mushroom. I, yeah, the other one is called the mega mushroom, isn't it? So I was right. Also, I'll show off the Rossetti model real quick. Um, We'll just put it on top of this flower mo or table right here. Ooh, look at that. It's the exact same one that's available in New Horizons, but you get it through Isabel instead of through Nook Shopping. So, you know, it feels a lot more personal and not like... You just get it randomly for anybody wondering. I'm going to put the chihuahua over here because I think it would be funnier to have it in front of the doghouse. <laughs> like this is the chihuahua's doghouse. No, the chihuahua is fraternizing with the actual dog that lives in here. They're besties. And despite what you think, you know, this dog does look scary. But uh, we all know that the chihuahua is scarier because it's a fucking chihuahua. Don't mess with those.